Hey, hello, how's it going? Welcome back to another Slice and Dice video. It's me, Cranberry. Hopefully you are doing well. I'm doing pretty good. I had a pretty good day today. Um, looked up at the sun for a little bit. That was pretty cool. Uh, and now I'm playing Slice and Dice. I uh, did a stream the other day, actually. You might notice that this wasn't here last time. Uh, I've been playing Unfair just on my own time, too. And in the last stream, I actually managed to get a two-win streak on Unfair, which is pretty cool. Uh, I did lose that streak since. Unfair is pretty tough sometimes, man. But uh, I I've been having fun with Unfair. I think today we're just going to do hard slow. I want to practice it more and actually get better at Unfair mode before trying to maybe do some YouTube stuff for it. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, currently on hard mode, also on a zero win streak. I have learned a very valuable lesson, actually, because I, I mentioned it in the last video, I think. Hopefully that I've been trying to grind a little bit off recording so I can get the win streak back up and not make you guys have to wait like two or three weeks to get back to where we were or whatever um, and stuff like that. So that's what I've been doing. And I learned a very valuable lesson from the last run that I played. If you take the small monster boost, wisps are kill on sight. If you let a wisp start summoning bones, you will lose that immediately because the wisps, I didn't realize at first, counted as small enemies. And then the bones also count as small enemies and you end up getting super outscaled super quickly and just lose. That was an important lesson I learned there. Uh, but anyway, without further ado, let's hop in here. Let's play the game. Uh, go for the basic team. I don't want to play any of those fuckers. And would you look at that? Add Wisp. Speak of the devil. Uh, this is a pretty good starting team. I like what I'm looking at here. Clumsy versus a thorn is not great. It's not the ideal situation to be in here, I think. Hopefully we don't end up dying turn one here. Okay. Well, that could have been worse. Could have been better. Could have been worse for sure. Um, I'm just looking. I'm just thinking. I might just hold this, honestly. I think my first thought here is doing this into this, into healing on Squire. And then, honestly, just passing the turn here seems pretty fine to me. Initiate's going to be pained again next turn. We should be able to... I mean, we, Hoarder's actually uh, exerted here, too. It's a little bit spooky. But uh, we should hopefully be able to kill this Wisp pretty handily here. Um, hit here. Hit here. There we go. Easy peasy. I never take the chests here. I want to look at it just because, but I never take these. I don't know if they're actually worth it or not, but it seems... Some, some random tier 1 curses can be pretty bad. So I feel like I don't want that. Uh, Spellblade versus Disciple. I'm down to go Spellblade here. Spellblade's a pretty good one. This is a lot of little guys. I'm kind of worried about this fight here. Yeah, we have three bees going for the kill move, which is not optimal. Definitely take this. We should be pretty fine for the most part here. I'm trying to think how many bees we can not kill here and get away with it. I think the answer is maybe zero. Uh, we can take this as well. I don't hate this this round, but honestly, we can roll better on you still. Okay. Amazing round. So we're going to kill one bee, the one that's killing the gardener here. We're going to kill the one that's killing the, the the spellblade as well. And then we have nothing to use focus on. If only I knew how this mechanic worked. But I think we will be just double bursting here. Kill the wisp and then put a hemlock on the wolf. That looks pretty good to me. Now, st still taking lethal damage here. Which is not optimal. I don't think I want to sacrifice a hoarder this round either. So we're going to probably skip on that. We just go hit into hit. Yeah, there we go. Okay. We're very much out of this fight. This is a good starting team. I like this so far. This seems pretty good. Uh, change of hearts, fine. Uh, it's, it, it's kind of not amazing, but like, I don't know. It, it's, I, I value shields more than I value healing in general. Right, so there's a shield one growth, mana gain shield one here is fine. This is all okay. Nothing nothing incredible here, but I think this is very slightly better for us. Um We're gonna kill this bee. That's gonna happen here. It's gotta be how it goes, unfortunately. We maybe roll a little bit higher on the initiate. And maybe on the squire too, if we're lucky. No, okay, well. That's fine. Put this here. 
hammer your ass, and then we just double burst the wisp, probably. Just to stop you from summoning. Seems good to me. Okay. Man, Spellblade is such a good orange character. I love this guy. Definitely taking pretty much all of these. Maybe we want to try to high roll for the cantrip here, but I think I'll just settle. And Squire, what do you got for me here? Ooh, Focus Shield. Nothing to actually focus on here, but still just pretty happy to have this in general. Okay, burst here. Just go defensive here. Hemlock the rat, and then... I mean, it's over. Uh, I, can't, I don't want to hold this. I'll take this just to be safe. Okay, there we go. That's enough. It is enough to win. I think it will leave. What the hell are you? Display case. There is exactly one item in the inventory. What? What does this mean? If there is exactly one item in the inventory, all heroes copy all unequipped items. Oh, that's so interesting. It's so weird. I don't want this. But that's so interesting and cool. Yeah, no thank you. I'm gonna decline, but I appreciate the offer. It is interesting for sure. It could be so cool in the late game though. You know, we're on a zero win streak. Fuck it, I'm taking this. Absolutely fuck this, we're going. Now it does nothing currently, here versus here. But this is so cool. Uh, ooh, I think I go Herbalist here. I like Glacia as well, don't get me wrong. But I think Initia into Bramble's kind of fun, and I think Herbalist would be pretty good here too. It's fine either way. Uh, we do get the we do get the cool uh, regen shields now. This little symbol that you almost never see in the game. That's a fun one. Okay, Initia is dying. <laughs> I don't think we can save his ass, I'm sorry to say. We can try to high roll here a little bit, but even then... Actually, there's no high rolling. I forgot they're all single-used. Um... We could just double burst here and initiate lives, but the question is, next turn, can we keep initiate alive? And I think the answer is honestly yes. I think we can kill Bramble and then hopefully keep initiate alive here, depending on what we roll. Definitely give me pretty much all of these. Redirect here is not that useful. Try again. Okay. Oh, initiate dies though here still, shit. <laughs> okay, well, I fucked up a little bit. Put this here. You know what we can do? We can do this, and then this isn't single use anymore. I think that's fine. Oh, you know what? Keep initiate alive. Never mind. He's gonna beat this. I believe in him. Honestly, just give me this for now. Give me these. We should have let his ass die. <laughs> we should not have wasted the, uh... The thing before on him. Ooh, hold on. We need, we need to do this in a different order. We need to kill you instead. Okay. This is definitely not super optimal here. We had to use a lot of good sides in order to get that that bramble man killed. And now that we've lost the uh, the what's his name, the initiate things are looking pretty dicey. Okay, I think we let Hoarder go on this one. Oh, uh, let's redirect off you. Probably put this on Herbalist too. Okay, I think I think we can win from this position though. Hopefully. Uh okay, that's enough. It doesn't literally win right now, but it pretty much guarantees us the dub. We get to do this. Oh, it does win too. Never mind. We had the one extra mana. Okay. That was a scary fight. But we made it. Uh, Kilt. Kilt versus Twin Daggers here. Twin Daggers in the display case is kind of cool. It's not good on Spellblade. But it is neat to just have everyone having the cantrip sides here. It's probably not that good though. Anyone who doesn't want Kilt. Is like Kilt is like actively bad for us? Not really. Give me the Kilt here. We put Kilt now in the display case. And everyone is just slightly better for it, which is pretty cool. Now... 
This is pretty good on Hoarder. I don't think we want the pain side, but let's, let's look at things for a moment. Get to do this into this. Oh, this is actually pretty good this turn. Okay. Let's keep, let's keep these three and let's try to roll better on these two. Try again. That is better. I, I appreciate this. Thank you, game. Uh... We can kill the Wisp here, which is fine. You know what I realize we can do as well, actually, right now? We can kill the Militia. That doesn't actually even help much. Like, we can do this into this, and Militia runs. But then Hoarder is still pretty much dying this turn. Well, I guess we can do this. Is that even better, though? I feel like it's not actually even that better. So no thank you. Maybe I just like doing this play instead. We get to go like this. Into this. That feels pretty good to me, especially because the Hoarder has regen on him now. I like that. Okay. You can do better here, hopefully. I will take this. One, two, three. I'll settle here, actually, two. And then... Ooh. Oh, unfortunately, we can't actually focus the shield here. We don't have anything targeting from Herbalist. We have a lot of stuff going on, though. So we're going to do... This into this. Into this. Make you run. And then... We can't actually save the initiate here either. Fuck. Okay, here's the line now instead, actually. You play it this way, and then next turn we kill the militia. Via blocking, hopefully, is the idea. Okay, they hate his ass. Definitely give me these. Hammer's not that useful here. I'll settle on this right now. Mm, okay, well, you know what? We'll hold on. We're working them down the long way. That's fine. We'll get there soon. Only need two more damage. We, we, can just, we can just kill Militia via damage. We don't have to do the block to get him to leave. And there you go. There you have it. Sinew versus Warden. I'll take a Warden here. That should be pretty solid. Sinew, not a, not, a, not a lot of synergy on this team, if I'm being honest. Warden is a solid tier 2 grade I have. And I would like to kill the Quartz if possible here. And it is very much possible, so we will try to do that. Can we get a little bit better rolls here, maybe, guys? Nope, okay, that's fine. That's cool. I'm not upset. Um, We can just do... I was going to imbue. We can just do this instead, actually. Works out a lot better for us. And we'll just pass here. Okay. Love seeing pretty much all of these. You maybe do a little high rolling on initiate, maybe? If you don't mind, game? Okay. No high rolling allowed. That's okay. Kill you. Definitely kill the snake here that's putting two poison onto Hoarder. That's a pretty no-brainer there, and then this snake will not survive long. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. You know, actually something really happened the other day. Uh, I actually should have probably talked about it at the start of the video. My, my good friend Voyx has been nice enough to let me join him for a couple of his Slice and Dice videos lately. And in the most recent one, we had the choice between Abacus or Enchanted Shield. Enchanted Shield is the item that at the beginning of every turn, the character holding it gets one shield, right? And I said that I thought uh, Enchanted Shield was better, and Voyag said that he thought Abacus was better. And I think one person left a comment saying that Abac they thought Abacus was better too. I think it is a pretty close choice either way. And what actually ended up happening in the video is that Abacus would have been very good. Because we ended up getting a middle replacer, and we ended up getting Roulette. And if we had Abacus in that middle replacer, Roulette would have been so much stronger on our team. Right, but it's like it's a thing where you don't know if that's gonna happen, right? That's sort of the whole issue. Uh, heat three or or heat here, heal three to all allies with shields and cleanse. Not that good. <laughs> this is a much easier choice for me. I'll take an abacus here for sure. Um, 
What's neat is that we can we can take the kill tier and put it on like you instead, and now everyone's abacus. Um, I'm curious the order. What happens with the order if we put it like over here instead? Oh, so it looks like the, the abacus happens first, and then you display case. Ooh, that's really sick. Now hold on, we're doing some cool stuff here. I like this a lot. I think just two mana on herbalist here, having three mana sides. We lose the dart, but that's okay. And also, everyone has plus one HP now. How sick is that? This I already feel like is worth the I mean, plus one HP. All is already pretty close to worth a Gaitha showing up in in eleven to uh, in eleven to, to twenty combat. I'm pretty happy with our decision so far. Uh, do I want the shield one regen here? Not really. I would just prefer mana if I could find it. Okay, copycat not copying shit today, unfortunately. And then we'll just hit you a couple times, hammer one of the ogres, move on with our lives. Okay, this is, this is, again, this is neat. I'm actually really excited for this run now. Now that I'm like, kind of like seeing like, oh, this actually does pretty cool stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of pumped. Uh, we could roll these again. Settle here. Ooh, Initiate doing some pretty sick stuff as well today. Okay, so first goal is just killing this top ogre. Which we have way more than enough resources to do, so that's pretty cool. We'll put this here. Let me just vine you. No need to burst there. To save our mana for next turn instead. Uh, Four shield here is not that useful. I'll take the one shield, though. I'll settle on this. Put this here, put this here. Oh, we just have lethal. Okay, never mind. Goodbye, Ogre. Whirl or Seer? Initiate, you know, hasn't been too bad to me today. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Seer though instead, I think, over Whirl. Whirl does not feel very good for this team. Especially into this fight with the Knolls. No thank you. We we don't need we don't need Whirl to peel off the armor here. We have herbals to do that, so that just feels pretty bad to me. And this will be a, this will be this will be very doable, hopefully. I don't love getting exert here though. Definitely don't like that. Ooh, I'm liking pretty much everything I'm seeing here now. And we can go a little bit bigger on on warden here, I think. Okay, so if we're doing this. I don't think we're going for fortels here. Hey, we're doing one Fortel, actually. Hey, we can do one Fortel. We can mix in a Fortel, actually. We should have Lethal on Sarcophagus next turn. Unfortunately, there's a lot of guys on the field here, too, so... I can see some bad shit going down. I'll take the four shield here. That looks pretty good. Okay, I don't really want Growth Side on Herbalist if I could help it. There we go. Okay. Uh, put this here. Put this here. <laughs> Vine up here, and then who's actually killing the spider? You guys? Okay, we can just kill you then instead. That makes sense. I'll put put the poison on the knoll here, I feel like, actually. That should be pretty solid for us as well. Warden taking a pretty big hit here. But we got... Is this the first time I've rolled stick on Hoarder? I feel like it is. Maybe I'm crazy, I don't know. I feel like it's been a long time since I've seen that. Okay, Seer. I know you lost most of your sides at this point. Oh my god, he's actually he's actually coming through for us right now. Uh, I think we kill your ass. Put this here, probably. Do like one vine into Fortel again. Okay. Yeah, this is we're 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 winning this no problem. I am not even remotely close to being worried at this point. Okay, can we... Uh, I'll take this, actually, here. <laughs> it's, like, the only side we have. Yeah, okay, we'll take this here. Uh, this turn. Um. Okay, we definitely kill your ass. Kill your ass, too. I mean, you're just, you're just dying to poison this turn, Null, so we'll... We'll settle for the easy dub without losing anyone, I think. And we get the sling. It's not that good. I do not want this being abacus, so I, I believe instead we'll be, we'll be putting this probably, uh, probably on spellblade. Like 
Spell Blade has a lot of HP, so it's not that useful. But I don't know, man. Ooh. Hold oh my god. Natural, I'm pretty sure, can can bypass the Abacus stuff. Or not the Abacus stuff. Natural can bypass the uh the Whatchamahoosits, the the character restriction by just being put in the thing. And everyone will have blue on the two right sides. That's pretty sick. If I'm being honest though, I think chainmail is just amazing here. Just globally, plus three HP feels so strong. Whereas plus two mana is not... It's, it's good, don't get me wrong. Plus two mana across the board is really good here. Hmm. How do I not take chainmail, though? How, plus, that's so much. That's plus 15 health across the board. How do you not take this? Hmm. Hmm. I gotta do it, I'm sorry. Natural is really good. I'm pretty confident it's a pretty sick pickup for us here. I gotta I gotta trust myself on chainmail. And we'll put this on I think you here. Cause I think regen versus shield is not that huge of a difference between the two of them, and just god damn. This is so this feels so strong. Look at our look at our HP blocks over here. Like no one's no one's ever gonna die turn one. We're gonna have so especially with Seer. Especially with Seer on the team. I feel like we're going to be so defense-oriented here. It's going to be crazy. Okay. We kill the bones. We foretell twice. We put this shield probably on Spellblade here. And just pass. We have eight mana on turn two. I'll settle on this, honestly. We don't need to go too high rolly here. I don't want Hoarder to die. That's probably optimal. Okay. Uh, who's, like, the most dangerous person right now? Put this here. Do we just have lethal? We might just have lethal, actually. I'm here, like, trying to do the math. Trying to figure out exactly who, who to kill and where. And I think we just actually have lethal, so... Okay, whatever. Okay. Uh, Hoarder uh, to Collector is fine. Gladiator is good here, too. They're both... These are both solid choices. I think between the two, I lean more to Gladiator. Uh, Spellblade has more to Copycat, but we shouldn't be basing this based off of Copycat. It's not that big of a, of a, a great... Like, it's not that amazing of a play for us. To be like, oh, we can Copycat Cleave on Spellblade. Not that important. I'll just say Gladiator. Uh, also, short term... Spellblade onto Gladiator is 2 damage engage. If we hit the shade, we'll kill it from full health, which is pretty cool. I don't hate that. Okay, we immediately call our shot here and get it right away, which is, I think, pretty cool. Uh, this is, like, probably one of your worst sides here, I think, Warden, so we don't need this. That is better. Okay. We're going to hit, like, I think this Soodle here. We could kill the Soodle. I'd rather just kill the Shade, honestly, because he's just more annoying than anything. We could... Again, we could kill Soodle here. I'd rather just, I think, foretell and pass. Let our mana make mana. You know what I'm saying? Uh... Yeah, this is pretty good, because this works on Fanatic this turn. Would be pretty sweet. Take this, sure. It does work, right? Yeah, it's two mana. Okay. Just want to make sure I'm doing the math right. We almost have lethal here. Not quite. Very close, though. We'll foretell one more time. Well, if we had actually gone in there, maybe Suda would have run away. Whatever. Who cares? Fight's over. You get to leave... Shimmering Halo versus Lens. Lens is focused to heal sides, I believe, correct? I have focused all heal slash self heal sides. So, I can't even talk. Self heal sides, bleh. Uh, Shimmering Halo, plus two max HP this fight whenever you save a hero. Um, eh. Bleh. I'll take the Lens. Uh, we'll put. Man, this is actually kind of tough now. I think the correct play here is to do this into this here. And then maybe we go like this or like 
this and this. Hmm. It's fine. We put the kilt up here, honestly. I, I you know what? I do think I really just like Abacus and uh, Kilt on Herbalist, though. This feels pretty strong to me. We can just put Lens nowhere and not worry about it right now because it doesn't really matter too much. This we're taking Lens for like Prophet and Doctor and like maybe Surgeon. That's what Lens is here for to double up those mana gain abilities on them in the future. Oh, it's it's time for Magrat to be here. I thought it was Gaitha. I guess it's Magrat. Whatever. Who cares? It's time for the game to supposedly get harder now. Also, oh my god, they're making so many bones. What the fuck? That's too many bones to make. We need to relax. Okay, can I get like a mana attack here? I not only can I get a mana attack, I can get a Oh no one has more No one has more health than me. They all suck. Tragic. Um We're really greedy. We can we can just kill the chest here. I don't think we're that greedy. That seems way too greedy for me personally. I think we should kill the quartz here, though. I guess we do this as well. Listen to this. We get a little foretelling in. We can kill one of the graves too, but I think I think we're actually relying on just kind of uh, a reinforcement stacking here, so we don't have to worry too much about fighting all the bones at once. I think that's kind of the line for us today. Okay, never mind. Only one actually went. Oh, never mind. They're all here. Fuck. That kind of went not according to plan. Although I don't. I'm not actually that worried here. Okay, I'll take these. I'll take this. Two shields is not terrible this turn. We can do better. Like, hey, look at that. Four shields. Very cool. Very, very cool. So, the general plan here is to kill bones. So that way they kill the graves as well. That's the general gist of our of our, our overall strategy. We can do this. I think from here we just double foretell. And eventually we'll outpace these graves. Okay, Spellblade and Gladiator both getting kinda reamed here. Although we get we get to now now that we've made Spellblade's health so low, we do get to get the actual sling bonus, which is nice. Take these. Take this on Seer as well this turn. Okay. All in all looking pretty good here. And hit here into hit here. And then we do need to keep the Spellblade alive here. This might be the turn where we finally actually kill a Magrat. That's pretty good. Oh, I wasn't, like, for some reason, you know, in my head, I was like, Magrat to the top, she's hurting the top character. This is two damage to the bottom most enemy. Okay, we don't actually even have to heal Spellblade then. Do something like this here. Into this. That looks pretty good to me. I think we've recovered this pretty well. That's gotta be lethal, right? Maybe like this. Yeah, okay. Very cool. Uh, Luda versus Sorcerer. Well, how does Sorcerer play here? Not that amazing, if I'm being honest. Luda also kind of shitty. This might be a random. I think this is actually a random instead here. I don't trust either of these to be good for us. Which is not bad. Which is not bad here. I do just like having Kilt. Is this somehow better maybe doing this? No. That's fine. You can do this now instead too. Oh, I can do, uh, where, where is it? Hold on, shit. Where's the, there you are. I can do this now too. So now it's three shield cleaves instead, which is pretty sick. That, that, that looks pretty good to me personally. Um, now we just need like someone with shield bashes and we're kind of all set. And also, Salve is an amazing spell, too. So hopefully we can just kind of get Seer going with Fortels and we can kind of just be a very defense-oriented team here. It should work for us, ultimately. I'll take the Growth here. I think Growth is fine. Cleave Shield also looks pretty strong this turn. Okay. 
Put this here. Kill the bone targeting the witch, I think, first turn. And then not much else. No, notice it's taking too much damage. I think I'll stop the, the pain aside, actually, here. That makes sense to me right now. Stopping the pain looks pretty good. Unfortunately, we only have one cleanse move here, so Lich might cause some issues with these with these stone beams. Uh oh. Okay, well, you know what? We're cleansing this turn. We're cleansing on Witch, I think, to stop Witch from getting cleansed here or getting stoned. Ooh, happy to see that. I can reroll these two, hopefully. There we go. Now we can start making some actual progress here. Killing Gaitha makes sense to me this turn. We can do a little bit of salving here too. I think I'll just foretell and then pass. Okay. Uh, we can not too bad this turn. Not amazing. Uh, rather just roll like a cleanse or or mana pretty good here too. Actually, we'll take that. Okay, kill you. I'll just, I'll just burst the bone here as well. That seems okay to me. Okay, Seer being stoned is annoying because we lose our growth side, which is not great. Do we want the shield one boost here? Is that like a crazy good play for us? If we get like the damage side on Spellblade, it's pretty good. But otherwise, not that important. We can do better. Cleave shield pretty weak this turn as well. Try again. Okay, here we'll boost. Although it doesn't do much here, actually. It's actually pretty bad. You can boost here. <laughs> Keep foretelling. Uh, no need to really throw a salve down. We're, we are a very defensive team. <laughs> we are going to pretty much never die. Which is neat. Okay, I'll take the cleanse here for probably Seer. Because again, Seer has very few usable sides right now. So giving him one more is probably pretty sweet. But we're definitely... Hold on. We're definitely doing a little bit of murder here. Boom. Big value. Uh, It's the same either way. Okay, whatever. Do this. Oh, ooh, if we cleanse here, actually, we get a side this turn. You know what? I've been tricked by Abacus. Okay. Whatever. It's fine either way. I don't care. I'm not angry. Uh, Cleave Shield doesn't look too bad this turn. We're going to kill these anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. We can just look for damage instead. Cleanse is good here. Uh, this is fine. Yeah, this goes on Gladiator to get rid of his petrified side. The one single side that can get cleansed. This is gonna be a slow, slow game. We're gonna we're gonna be here for a while, I imagine. Mm. No one else needs to be really cleansed at this point, but I don't know what else we're rolling for here. We're rolling for maybe like mana. Let's take this so we can cleanse someone else. There we go, actually. Okay, we cleanse on Spellblade this turn. We can get some poison in. And we break this and then kill the bones here. We might just have lethal, actually. Hold on a second. We, we've we had lethal for a long time, I bet. Okay. It never hurts to be careful, though, guys, okay? Better safe than sorry on occasion. Now, Blinding Bolt with Witch makes a lot of sense to me. We cast a lot. We can, we can if needed be, or if, if need be, we can cast a lot of spells. I like this a lot. Although, Blinding Bolt on everyone is also kind of fucking crazy. Right? Weapon ability is used. Self shield too. That's kind of nuts. That is, I think, I mean, we can cast two spells per turn very easily when needed. So I think this ultimate will be just way more effective health for us. So I like this a lot. Okay, cleave shield is fine. So is this. So is this. We need more mana, though. Ugh. 
Uh, who am I actually killing this turn? Probably the snake. Oh, probably the war chief. Maybe. The war chief is actually the the kind of the bane of our existence here. Gladiator getting hit for four is not good news though. Oh, you know what? We don't even need the cleanse on on or the thief shield on the witch this turn. Let's actually roll the witch then. Okay, that's actually really sick. Um, we'll put this here. Do something like this instead now. Kill you. Put this here again. Pass the turn. Gladiator, we need to get that cleanse shield for Gladiator ASAP because they're going to die pretty quickly. Although, we have salve. I guess it's not actually that urgent when I think about it, but ooh, this is really good stuff here too. All very good rolls. Happy to see these. Uh, This hits Chomp. This probably goes on Gladiator this turn. You could like salve here. You don't get to foretell doing it this way, but this looks pretty good to me. Yeah, this this uh Magrat in exchange for everyone sharing an item is maybe one of the dirtiest things I've ever seen in this game. When you have like just like a decent enough team for it, it kind of just does insane shit for you. We don't need the four shield here, we're just better off looking for damage, I think, this turn. So we'll try to look for damage. I'll honestly settle for one mana this turn. That is not that terrible for us. Okay, uh... Who is really in trouble? Seer is pretty much in trouble this turn. We can do this. And then this, and we're pretty much all safe. Okay. Should be able to make this work. We are very poisoned, though. The snakes have had it too good for too long. We kind of need to stop them. We can do like weaken into weaken here, which is pretty fine. Start start working this wisp down up here. Okay, that's pretty good. I I accept this. Very happy with pretty much all of those rolls. These ones not so much. Uh, I would like to kill your ass, I think, here. Snake. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're not, we're not quite there, but I think after a salve, hopefully the snake runs. Okay, there we go, good. It's a lot of fucking shit here. <laughs> um, I think I like Weaver more here, personally. Bash is, don't get me wrong, get Bash is good, especially with the everyone getting shields thing. But I think Weaver is just more consistent mana. Right? It's just, it's just so much more mana here with, again, Salve is all we need, pretty much. We're gonna win. I, I, I don't know what fight we lose right now. Like, genuinely can't think of one. So, it's feeling pretty Jover for, for, for them to me right now. Uh, we can do better here, hopefully. There we go. Very, very much better. So much better here. This is this doesn't work when they're equal, right? It has to be specifically HP more. Just want to make sure that is how that works. Oh, we can honestly just do this here, too. Just burst your ass. We can get some crush, crushes mixed in here, but it doesn't seem necessary this turn. It, it's wasted block. Right? So, no thank you. Okay, one egg hatching. Luckily, it's the... Not luckily. It's better that it's the bottom egg. It is beneficial for us. But it doesn't matter too much either way. Mm. Kill here. Killing here is fine. You do one more crush, I suppose. Doesn't really hurt anyone. You know what? I think we actually just do the burst here to stop the poison from coming in. This is this this I this is the most free game of, of my entire life. I feel like, like how am I how how do I lose from here? And maybe this is just you know overconfidence or whatever. But like I just feel like this is kind of just an unlosable run at this point. I don't know. Okay, I could have probably done a little bit more, more wise rolling here. This is kind of a bit of a less than optimal. Keep. I think I think maybe this cleave shield was definitely the wrong thing to pick up there. 
But again, we're not in any, even remotely close to any danger right now, so not worried. I'll take this. Hmm. Definitely take this. Just looking for any mana from the rest of you guys. There we go. Hit here. Hit here. And we can just do a crush. There we go. Twisted Bar versus Botany. Uh, Twisted Bar just makes Spellblade an endgame character here that we might just keep to the very end. I think we will actually do this. Like, why the, Why would we not do this here, right? Like, this This is very strong. This is this is endgame capable character at this point. Uh, Boost here is pretty good. I'll take these as well. Kind of not actually that good against Slates, I'm now realizing. Which is not amazing, but whatever. Uh, we can we can roll down a little bit more here, I think. Okay, I will take that. And I'll settle on the, the mana here too, I think. Um, so unfortunately, once again, nobody has... Oh, you know, uh, no, 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 never mind. Unfortunately, once again, no one has... Somehow no one has more health than Spellblade. I don't know how we keep getting here. Oh, I should do this, actually. Hold on. This into a crush is pretty good. Also pretty good. Also a full block. We we just have too much defense. I have I have never had this defensive of a team, I feel like. I don't know. We'll look for some damage on Gladiator here. Preferably a, a shielded block attack thingy. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, we just burst your ass, huh? Okay, once again, taking no damage. I should have maybe gone for the crushes there. Actually, would have been more mana efficient. Ooh, definitely give me some poison. Uh, bigger shield, maybe, this turn? Okay, well... This is not amazing. We'll just pass, honestly, here. I am not worried. Slate, like you want to leave? You can get out of here, bud. Uh, I like Stoic on this team. I don't think we need Captain. I don't think we want Captain. I think Stoic is, is perfectly perfectly valid for us right now. There's a, a nice big HP pool. That's all. Oh, I forgot about... I forgot about Focus. Focus is not that good on Witch here, I don't think. I think I actually like Witch the way they are currently. We could do this instead. It doesn't, it doesn't seem that good. Yeah, it's not It's not that useful. I'd, ra I'd rather just have you have shields. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Here you go, bud. You can keep hanging on to that for now. I'll take this, I'll take this. Cleanse Shield is not the worst this turn, but it's not amazing. Or not Cleanse Shield, Cleave Shield, I mean. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, we'll take that. Mm, I'll settle for this, too. Do we rush Troll King down here? Do we go for uh, Magrat? I think we go for Magrat first. Probably. I like that line. That works pretty well. We leave one mana in the mana pool for charges for the future. That seems pretty good. Once we get a really good mana combo here, too, we should be able to go off with, uh, with Weaver as well. I'm down to high roll for the charge this turn. We hit it. Oh, we do hit it. We're gonna go. We're gonna go extremely crazy mode here. Ooh, and we get charged as well. That's nice. We just hit you for ten. Ooh, a little crushing. Don't mind me. It's us versus us late now. I think we win these. We are pretty poisoned. We need to be mindful of that, but I think, again, we're just going to kind of eat ass here, more or less. I like the cleanse here. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah, it's it's so over. Goodbye, goodbye. Mirror Mask versus Gauntlet. 
Mm. Uh, is Mirror Mask somehow crazy? We can put it on Spellblade and have two Weavers on this team, which is arguably better than having Spellblade and Weaver. I don't hate that. Uh, we do lose the Twisted Bar value. The Twisted Bar has to go somewhere. Is like the is like the annoying thing about it. But we can just put it on on Stoic for now. It's not terrible either. I think we. It is just also pretty sick on Spellblade. And it will be good on whoever our yellow is, probably. I, I, I'm trusting myself to go with the Mirror Mask, though. I think this is probably ultimately better for us. Do it this way. Well, honestly, this is kind of cool too. Giving the giving the charge side too is not a terrible line either. You can do this as well. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I think I like, I like I think I like this better. I, I it's gonna be really annoying if we roll double charged on both of our weavers. I think this is the correct line here. Although maybe we do it this way, to even out both their health down to ten, or up to ten, I guess I should say. That's kind of fun too, actually. Okay. A lot of damage coming in here, as is usually the case. I like a stun on Stoic here. I don't love a dodge on Spellblade this turn. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Ten mana, ten mana here looks really nice. We get to kill the Shade round one, which is also good. And then we go Rush. Oh, you're you're a fucker. Hold on, wait a second. We definitely kill this Shade. <laughs> that's the one that's actually stopping us from crushing here efficiently. And then probably just stop the one that's painting me. Yeah, it's a pretty good turn. I like that round one. Take zero damage, kill half of the enemies turn one. Use very little resources to do so. That makes sense to me. Uh, Cleave should not that useful, honestly. This turn we can, we can kind of roll a little bit higher. Come on, give me mana, please. Hey, Cleave shields it is. My apologies. Uh, we hit here into Crush, and just once again pass the turn. Arguably, maybe we should burst the Shade there to, to get some work done on the Pristine part of it, but, like, it doesn't matter. We're not even, not even remotely close to losing this, so it, it's, it's nothing. We actually shouldn't use much here, <laughs> I'm not realizing. We can Crush once, but we shouldn't even use these Mana Sides. And also the Shade runs away here, so that's, that's cool too. Uh, leader versus dancer. Leader actually makes a lot of sense here. I feel like, um, although I wish we uh, with leader we might want to consider not having uh, mirror mask on spellblade. Then I'm pretty sure the right play is mirror mask here, but it does make you think that a potentially better line is to boost onto the mana gain size that spellblade naturally has. But I'm I'm pretty sure we can take leader and be pretty happy about it. I don't know, this can go here, whatever, who cares? Anywho. Anywho. Mm. I'll take two mana. I can high roll for charge here, probably. I'll take this as well. We can not that good this turn. I think we're just, look, we're just looking for more shields. Try again. A spellblade kind of throwing here, unfortunately. Can do this. Put more shields here. Definitely an anemic turn one. But I think we're okay. Having just a little bit of mana in the mana pool there should be good with this double weaver strat. Hopefully. Or not. Maybe it's actually bad. Weakening on Banshee is not terrible, because I want to reduce the poison coming in here, but I think the plan is just to kill Magra and Banshee this turn with, uh, with Crushes. 
Let's just look at things for a moment. Pain here is pretty good. And then... I think we... I think we do... Hold on. We might just do this as well to get the kill on you. Not even that good, actually. Uh... I generally like this play. Like a salve on, on leader two. Uh Can we just do a little bit of just a defensive salving here in general? I like that actually. That is pretty good. Stopping the poison and then and giving everyone enough HP where we're not worried about dying next turn to pain is pretty sweet here. And it's only a matter of time before these guys actually roll their, their big moves. I'm not too worried. Yeah, I'll take these. Oh, I saw it for a second, man. I saw it for a, a glimmer. A moment there. I thought I was free. Hmm... Yeah, this is looking pretty easy. Demon summoning an imp, that's not a big deal. It's gonna be a little slow going, but I just we just the blinding the blinding bolt is just too strong AoE. This this feels like it was not intended. Like an intended like uh, mechanic here, basically. Okay. Not much mana this turn, unfortunately. But Crush does a lot of heavy lifting this turn as well. You do a little bit of salving here. That's fine. That is okay. And we do have to. We, we need. We, who, who actually can hit the demon? I'm now realizing. Who who hits the demon here? It's like witch and leader can, and that's about it, really. We need someone to eventually crack this this guy open. Okay, you can crack him. There we go. Not the most amazing weaver turn here, but that's okay as well. Oh, Stoic can crack him open too, actually. I didn't realize that. You can do this into crush and to kill the demon, actually, which is pretty nice. And now it's just us versus three bones. We have no mana, which is a little annoying. Uh, but we should be okay. Let's see. Okay. Just hit the crush button a few times. Uh, Spike Stone, not for us. Emerald Mirror probably does something pretty cool. We can we can get another person. You know what's actually so fucking funny? Oh my god, check this out. This is maybe the funniest thing I've ever done in my life. So we are going to put this over here for now, I think. Wait a second. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna say we need to put the twisted bar on leader here. It just, it's just getting Emerald Mirror as well. Yeah, that's the thing. We're just we're just turning Leader into Spellblade instead. We're turning Leader into a Tier 2 blue character, and I'm pretty sure it's way stronger. I'm pretty sure this is much, much stronger on this team. So that's the bit. I think this is hilarious. <laughs> Spellblade is Weaver. Leader is Spellblade. Witch is doing just big shields instead. Everything's, everything's out of control. We can roll a little bit higher on Leader probably here. This will settle for two mana. And we can take the shields here, actually, as well. I'll take this. Try again. Okay. I would like to kill the barrel here, I believe. And who do we stun? Yes, stun the, the chomp here. Pass turn. I think this is going to be hilarious. Although, Spellblade took a lot of damage from those chomps, so we need to be more conscious of that, but it shouldn't be too big of an issue. Okay, that's a lot of mana. Mm. I don't know. We can hold this, it doesn't matter. Boom, boom, boom. 
Let's do a little salving here. One of these. I think we just hit the crush button about a trillion times. Yeah, there you go. Oh, sorry. Burst. Uh, I think this is a skip. <laughs> I think we're skipping here. I think we want Spellblade instead for the leader to copy. This just seems, seems too strong to me. Venom's not bad, obviously. But it's just too synergistic on our team right now to have it set up this way. Because right now we're picking who leader is. And do we want leader to be Roulette or Venom? No, I want leader to be Spellblade today. We are absolutely skipping this. Also, this is a, a sick, nasty team against the dragon, I feel like. We're kind of like, we're kind of built for this shit. Um, stun is pretty good this turn. Let's just stun like the Caw, which is nice. Dodge is not that good on Weaver here, so maybe we can get, okay, a dodge still. Whatever, fuck me. Something like this goes to hit Magrat. <laughs> We can dodge to avoid the, the thing there. And we could do some more spells here to keep Stoic a little bit healthier, but it's just not worth it, man. <laughs> we just want to keep mana in the mana pool. Absolutely for sure. Okay, that's really good. We can probably just keep all of these, honestly. Uh, Let the encrushioning begin. We should hit the call here, probably. I don't hate salving on Stoic just to keep Spellblade a little bit healthier. Dragon's biting for 15, but we are blocking 13 of it, which is pretty cool. But we had to burn all of our mana to get there. Against the Fire Breath, the Dragon does not stand a chance. This is such a sad move for him against our team comp right now. Uh, I can, I can take one of these down. Okay. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Hit here for sure. And we just salve on Stoic, probably. Full block this turn. And it's just, like, he, what is he, what is, what the fuck does Dragon do here? I guess Poison Breath is his best option, but even then, it's not a good option. It's such a bad option still for him. What is, what is he, what is he supposed to do? We do this. We do this. Burst and Crush are both equally efficient, but this gives us more shields, not that it even matters. Does he, does he run here? Does this does this mf -er run now at this point? It's got to be close to a retreat, right? There he goes. Dragon, goodbye. What a what a disgusting run. What an absolute just nasty-ass run there. Holy. This is, again, display case, very cool. I recommend taking this if you see it because it does some insane shit. Like, what the fuck was that? Uh, and then also just turning leader into Spellblade is maybe one of the funniest things I've ever done. At least in 3.0 and maybe just in all of Slice and Dice. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you for the next one. Uh, goodbye.